So I'm going to be taking care of Bailey, okay. Do you want to tell me a little bit about what's happened? Katie's brought Bailey down to AES tonight. She's distraught and yeah, she's just really upset. She has at least eight puppies. Okay. Potentially more. Um, yeah. She started giving birth around three o'clock. Okay. Had the first um, four puppies pretty quickly, and yeah. the fourth one was deceased. Um, and okay. then she stopped giving. She stopped having contractions for yeah. about an hour, and yeah. then an hour later she started contractions again, about 10, 15 minutes in between. Okay. But nothing since. Okay. Bailey's had three pups, and then she's passed a dead pup. And given that she's struggling to give birth now, Katie's really concerned that the rest of the puppies may also have died. Oh, you're a big girl, aren't you? Katie, how's all the other puppies been? Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Good girl, baby. And she's been fine as well. Yeah. Had yeah. one stillborn. Yeah. 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 I can see that Katie and Bailey have a really special bond. Katie said to me that Bailey, she's her best friend. So I'm just going to do an examination, okay, and yeah. see if there's a pop in the canal. Is yeah. that okay with you? Yeah, then we can do whatever you okay. need to do. Okay. Okay. So there's nothing in there at the moment, so that's really important because we know that there's not a pup that's lodged in there. Um, but we are going to need to find out what's happening with the rest of the pups. What we need to make sure of with Bailey is how are the rest of the pups that are still in there. She seems in good health, she's really bright, but she's also very tired. She's been pushing for a while um, and, you know, we just don't know whether she's got the energy to be able to push the rest of the pups out. So she's looking around for her puppy, she's quite worried, you know, she definitely looks, you know, quite tired as well. She, when I did the examination on her to see if there was a pup stuck in the canal, she really is not contracting at all and that's a real concern. Okay, we've got these babies, hey? Hey, they're beautiful. Beautiful ones. Puppies. There you go, sweetheart. Good kid. Oh, what a good girl. Oh. Hop in with you. Yeah. Let's see if we can get your babies a feed, hey? Yeah, yeah they do seem quite hungry, don't They're they? They're really hungry, yeah. yeah. Does she seem to have milk there? She's got quite a bit of milk, actually. That's good. Oh, yeah, you're going to be a good mum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mum's on. Oh, she's starting to push. Bailey starts to have contractions and I'm thinking maybe she is going to have these pups on her own. How's she doing Trace? Now she stopped pushing. So initially after they fed for about five minutes she did a couple of pushes and that's it. Then nothing. Nothing. Nothing yeah. comes through. Yeah. I, I just don't think she's going to be able to push all these I pups out. I think she's out. tired. She is, isn't she? Bailey was having contractions but she stopped now and I really think we have no other choice. We need to go to Caesarean. I think we're just going to need to get these pups out as quickly as we can. These guys seem pretty good, don't you? Hey, yeah, I might actually have a look at them as you take them out, just check them out. Hey, little guy, look at you. Oh, shh, your mummy will get upset if you make too much noise. Hey, look at you, you're a little boy, aren't you? Hey, little boy. Mwah. All right, Bailey, we're looking after them. It's almost like she doesn't really know what they're about, does she? This is the thing with a first time mum, sometimes it's just, it, she kind of ha has half an idea of what she needs to do, but she's a little bit confused. As I said, she's, she's a little bit anxious and I think that's all contributing to why she's feeling overwhelmed and tired. Now, look, we're just going to clip her for ultrasound now. I really want to see what's happening with those other pups. Good girl. Good girl. I know you're all worried. All I really want to see is what those heart rates are looking like, give an indication so I can let Katie know when she passed the, the dead one, um, you know, she rang for advice uh, to her friend and they, they said that probably the rest of the puppies were dead. So she's in a lot of distress and explains why she was so upset when she came through. Now, I think there's actually a reasonable chance that the rest of the pups, or at least the majority of them, will still be alive. Um, so I want to, part of this is really, I want to be able to reassure her that, you know, there's, there could be a, a good outcome even though she's lost one pup. Hey, 
a wiggly girl. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. She's just a really anxious girl and she's just worried. But I really do need a still. I, I just can't see anything if she's if she's wriggling around. Come on. We take Bailey into ultrasound and she's not coping. She's getting anxious. She's looking around for her puppies and it's difficult for me to even perform the scan. I look on the screen and I can see a fetal heartbeat. This is great news because now I know at least one of those pups in there are still alive. Got a beautiful heartbeat there. That's awesome, really good. Okay, you have got some beautiful pups in there. So you can see the heart beating there, so that's great. So there's at least one pup there that's got a heart rate, a normal heart rate of 220, and that's really good, good girl. But uh, the other pup that I can see on this side, I, I'm not seeing a lot there, I'm not seeing a heartbeat. So I am worried that at least one of the other pups may have died. Now, this makes it even more urgent for us to go in as quickly as possible and get these other pups out because there's at least one pup in there that at the moment is viable and um, has a good chance of survival. So getting in there, getting that pup out and then seeing what the other pups, what kind of state they're in. I'll pop you up on the table. One, two, or three. Oh, good girl. Oh, goodness me. Good girl. All right, good girl. Hey, can you sit down? All right, I've got everything we need. All right, let's go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? Here we go, Bailey. Off to sleep. So we really, now that she's asleep, the time is really ticking. We really need to get her prepped into theatre as quickly as we can, because even though we'll keep the anaesthetic fairly minimal, any amount of anaesthetic is going to have some effect on the pups. So the quicker that we can get them out, the better. Okay, we've got most of this hair off already, so we're already well on our way. All right, because I'm going to scrub. is generally a surgery that I'll do on my own but obviously where I'll really need help is when these puppies are delivered then we've got a team of nurses who are ready to start resuscitating these puppies because what we know is that they've been in there for quite a long time now after the other puppies were born uh, we just don't know what state they'll be in and so I want to make sure that we do everything we can to save as many lives as possible how are we going Okay. Awesome. All right, I think we're all ready. Um, yeah, let's do this. I'm in surgery and I start to examine the uterus and I notice that all of the remaining puppies are in one horn. So we've got one horn that's actually completely empty and all the pups are sitting in the other horn of the uterus. So, you know, I don't know if that is significant, but um, that's certainly what's going on. Okay, we ready? Multiple puppies coming at once, actually. I start to remove one puppy and another puppy comes immediately behind it. Now it's go time for the resuscitation team. Go. Thank you. I'm in surgery looking after Bailey, but in my mind I'm wondering, are these puppies alive? I can feel a heartbeat. Oh, good job. Come on. That's it. Come on. 
from the smile on Kayla's face, it looks like it's good news. And actually, I can hear them. <laughs> oh my God, aren't they gorgeous? Oh, look at them. That's just beautiful. That is amazing. I can't wait to tell their owner about this. She came in here thinking they were all dead. She's going to be so excited. Yeah, you. Good job, Tim. <laughs> Obviously, moments like that, that is exactly what makes it all worthwhile. That's such a great result. All right, let's get you stitched up, little mama. Wake you up and introduce you to your two new sons. I want to go and see these puppies. Oh, hello. Oh, look at them. They're all hungry. Oh, they're waiting. We've got to wait for their mama to wake up. They're all lively. They're all hungry. Uh, we, now we just got to wake Bailey up and, um, yeah, get them home. The surgery went well and Bailey's waking up. I can't wait to get on the phone and tell Katie the good news. Hi, is that Katie? Hey Katie, it's Dr. Alex here from Animal Emergency Service. How are you? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, I just wanted to let you know that Bailey's awake. Um, everything went really well. Now, it was a bit of a surprise in there. There actually were only three pups left in there, not, not four. Um, and we, we obviously knew that there was that pup that, that had passed away, but there's two beautiful, healthy boys. Um, yeah, two other beautiful, healthy, live boys. Yeah, really, really good both boys so I think there's three boys and two girls now so it's been a very emotional day for Katie and while she gets some rest we're going to take care of Bailey and the pups tonight and that's going to start with giving Bailey a good bath I think this is probably the nicest part for her after having these puppies is giving her a good clean up, um, making her smell nice and ready to, to go home. So she's actually not minding this at all. Nice to have a, a sponge bath. She's looking for her puppies. Hey, okay. worried about your puppies. They're fine, they're fine. We've got to get you cleaned up. They don't want you all smelly. The next thing is to give these new pups their first feed. How are you going? Can I see your puppies? Can I see? Look at them all. Hey, good girl. Good girl. Oh, you're a good girl. You are a good mama, aren't you? You're a good mama. Hey. They're nice and strong, that's for sure. They're feeding really well. I mean, look at them go. No worries there. I just want to give them a cuddle. I just want to give them a cuddle, but they're too busy. Hey, aren't they? Oh, you are a good girl. You are a good girl. Oh, no. The puppies are asleep now. They've had a good feed, and it's time for Bailey to get some rest. Look at you all. They're looking great, aren't they? Sure are. Hey, okay. oh, well she's actually, you look at that, she's starting to yeah. be much more of a mother now, which is really good. Very clever girl. Okay. All right, Miss Bailey, I'll look Hello. after you. Maria, look after the pups and let's go and see your mum. So it's time for Bailey to go home and although she's been a very good girl in hospital, I think she's going to be much happier once she gets home. She's got her new little family to look after and her mum's going to be so excited to see her. Good girl. Yes, look who's here, oh, baby. <laughs> I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> How are you feeling seeing her? Oh, much better. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I think she missed you. Hey. Yes. Yeah, she's like, where's those babies? Do you yeah. want to bring her babies in, Marie? Yeah. Here we go. Is it your babies? Hey. Need them around there. Okay. She's brilliant. She's she's talking to them. She's cleaning them. It's been such a privilege to be able to look after Bailey to bring these new puppies into the world. Emergency vet work, it has its ups and downs, but days like today, this makes it all worthwhile. Okay, 
see you, Katie. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.